Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing around with mic making using a warm palette in your journal. So I'm starting off in my large journal with grey and apricot. I <clears throat> wanted to choose some neutral colours in the background because I wanted to start playing around with um, Sedona in particular, which is this, um, almost a burnt orangey red colour. You can see everything on my palette or on my page is very, very wet. So I'm getting a lot of wet on wet blending. Which again, is not something I do very often in my journals. I tend to dry them off in between. But in this case, I wanted everything sort of to blend together. I'm also using my Stabilo Woodies, which are nice, thick, big, chunky pencils. And I'm drawing into the wet paint so you can sort of see where the paint's being pushed away. Once I've sort of got what I wanted in the background, I am going in and drying it off a little bit. Then I'm going in with slightly unusual colour. This is olive, um, which is more, I suppose, in the greeny area, but because it's got a lot of yellow undertones in it, it sort of fits into this warm palette. I'm also using um, umber, no, syrup, sorry, which again, like the olive, it's um, like the olive colour, but it um, has a little bit more brown in it. So it sort of sits, and again, in that really warm range. And I'm going back in with white. I've used some stenciling in the background to do some ghosting. I'm generally just having lots and lots of fun making a mess of my page. And it probably looks a bit baby pooish, but that's okay. Um, it'll, all, it'll all shape up in the end. But this is all about me pushing the boat out a little bit and trying not to use my favourite colours. So I, all the colours I've used on this page are colours I use very, very rarely or the colours I use in very small amounts. Um, they're not ones that are ones I'm going to pull out regularly. So um, I was just really challenging myself to, to grab something that I'm not used to using. Because, um, you know, using colours that you're not used to using is a bit confronting. Not confronting because it's not really all that difficult, but I, I needed something to sort of pull it all together a little bit. So I'm going in with my gorgeous Sprouts stencils from Dean and Wakely, and I'm using um, Payne's Grey. So this, that's not actually a black. Um, it's like, again, it's got very warm tones to it, um, and it's a little bit more translucent than a black, so it's not in your face per se. It's, it's standing out a little bit from the crowd, which I, I like, um, and it just gives that really shadowy effect. So it's a great way to use black without using black, so to speak. And I'm just going in with my white pen and doing some <clears throat> really bad doodling over the back. My pen wasn't working very well, which you can sort of see me trying to get it um, priming on the other page. So I have um, splashy bits and bleedy bits and um, really fine bits where it wasn't working. <laughs> so with the um, little flowers, I'm putting in the centres of the flowers and doing a little bit of... Um, uh, pointers and dot, dots around it to get a bit of um, shading happening. And then I'm going in with my um, white pencil pen. Apparently my brain's addled after Christmas. I'm going in with my white paint and stenciling some of those dots across the background just to lighten the background again a little bit. And then going back in with the red because I really liked having that contrast of the red. It helped bring up the Sedona in the background as well. Um, and again, bring a little bit of warmth back into the page. With the leftover paint that I had, um, I'm just painting it out to the next page. So that'll be another mic making page at some stage. Finally, when I had that, I'm going in and putting a quote on the page. So um, with mic making pages like this, apart from, you know, pushing out the boat a little bit with me and practicing with colour combinations I'm not 100% sure of. Um, it gives me an opportunity to put some quotes onto my page. So I actually really like this page, even though it's not um, colours I would probably use too much in the future, but at least I know that they work together and you can sort of control them and what sort of image you get from it. You know, if I was doing something grungy or um, 
vintagey, those are colours I would go and grab. So it's always good to have experiment pages in your journal to know what works, what doesn't, what you like, what you don't like, um, how you control those colours. So when I was putting those browns and greens on, I knew I needed to um, add a little bit more red in to sort of bring back that warmth to the page. So it's all about learning those tips and tricks, I suppose, as you go along. And if I hadn't played with those colours, I wouldn't know that. Now I'm going in with a little bit of gold and a little bit of red ink, again, to warm it up a little bit and to add a little bit of shimmer and shine to my page. So um, using my, my book as a palette there. It's always good. With inks in the background, it's really good to dry them off. So here's a close-up. You can see all that mic making in the background. You can see how those colours have combined together and how you get that really cool effect. So I would challenge you to use some colours that you're not used to using and have a go with experimenting with them and seeing what you like about them, what you don't like about them and how you can use them to your best advantage. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.